Welcome to our Tech Support Top Tips Collection. This series features the recommended process on how to upgrade factory controllers to the latest software. In this video, we'll explain how to upgrade a factory controller to the latest version using default IP. When configuring controller 6000s using initial default IP web configuration, basic information is cached, which includes the controller IP address, server IP address, subnet mask, and gateway. When DIP switch 2 and 3 is turned off, this information is retained through a restart or power cycle, which helps the controller to communicate to the server when it's connected to the server network. Note here, if DIP switch 2 and 3 are not turned off, the controller address will need to be configured multiple times during the upgrade as it drops its IP configuration settings upon restart. For more information on getting the controller online using initial default IP, please watch the relevant tech support top tip, getting a controller online using web page addressing. This is the common way to address the controller 6000 where boot P is disabled or does not work. That is, where the controller and server are on different subnets. So let's explain the recommended process to upgrade the factory controller to the latest released version using the default IP method. Firstly, configure the controller 6000 using web page addressing. Turn DIP switch 2 and 3 off and connect the controller to the command center network, matching the configuration. It is important to note that if the controller is power cycled, ensure the controller is connected to a network before applying power. When the controller 6000 reports online in command center, assign the latest controller software, version 820 or above. The controller then downloads the software and reports online. After the operating system migration initiated event is generated, the controller successfully migrates to the latest software and reports online. The controller then restarts again for the time zone update and reports online. Once the time zone has been updated, the controller downloads the remaining files of the latest software and then remains online. The total upgrade time for the recommended process takes less than 10 minutes. If you have any further queries regarding the upgrade, please contact our tech support team.